Hello everyone, it is A Stitch for Mom, aka Caitlin, coming at you with floss tube number two. I am so excited for all the new followers I have and subscribers um, and everyone that left comments. You made me feel so special and I, re I really appreciate it, like I really do. Uh, it's Sunday morning and I'm not super awake. Um, daylight savings time and everything, you know, it kind of screws with your clock. Um, but I'm super excited to share some things I made with you today. Um, I'm going to start out with my whips. Um, I worked on three major projects this week um, and all three of them were new starts this week. Whoops. Not that I have plenty of, well, two of them were new starts. One of them was just a when I had started already. Um, and then I'm gonna share another whip with you that I have started. Um, well, it's been started for a long time. <laughs> um, so the first one I'm gonna share with you is my December Cottage. Um, all I have to do is the roof and the beak. So I'm gonna change um, what is called for in this pattern. So originally you're supposed to put like, I don't have the cover sheet for it, I'm sorry. Like the December up here and then redo this um, border on the top, but I've decided that I kind of, I don't want to do that because I don't want to make them for every single month and have to change it out every month. Um, so my plan is to make like a winter, a Christmassy one, a winter one, a spring one, a summer one, and then a fall one. Um, and just kind of cut out the month part so that way I can, um, use them for longer than just the 30 days that the month is in. Um, and I'm so excited. So I went to Target and the Target dollar aisle has their Christmas stuff out. And I found the perfect piece that I'm going to finish this on. And I'm going to actually show it to you because I can't wait. Um, it is this, Tis the Season. And it's a ha it hangs and it was $3 at Target. And my idea is to stick this on there. Um, and then to put it up like next to where I uh, have my staircase. Um, I'm super excited. I'm hopefully going to finish this today or later this week. Um, it is so cute. I'm using um, the Call for DMC colors except for the leaves. My leaves are um, Classic Color Works Pine Needles because it's what I had and I, I really liked it. Um, but otherwise, that is my project. So, I'm really excited about that one. Um, that one was my one that I had started before and I just haven't finished yet. One that I got yesterday, so I got this in the mail yesterday, the um, Lizzie Kate's Thankful String, and it's already November, so I don't have any Thanksgiving things, because I'm just now, like, really starting to seasonal stitch. Um, so I started this last night, and... And I worked on a little bit this morning. And this is what I have done. Um, I will finish this today. And I already know how I'm going to finish it. Uh, my husband is going to help me with it. But there are a couple colors I changed. So I didn't have the 731 that it called for. So I used a set, just a darker green. 732. Um, and then this color was actually, I can't remember what it was called for, but it really blended into my fabric. So I just picked a different brown that stood out more. Um, and those are, and then this green-ish blue was originally supposed to be like 926, but I don't have that color and it's really a lighter blue. And so I picked more of a greeny blue 501 to use. So it kind of pops it a little more. But yeah, I'm loving how this is turning out. I ordered, um, I will show you in my, in, um, the cross stitches I got, the patterns I got this week, I bought uh, the dog string, and then I also have Mary string coming tomorrow, and I'm really excited about all of them, they're so cute, so yep, I will have this done today, you can check out my Instagram, I will probably, hopefully finish it today if I get all my grad school work done, in lesson plan, so we'll see, I got a lot to do today, which is why I'm doing my video in the morning, um, the other start I had was um I got this pattern in them I ordered this pattern and it came in um it's a country cottage needleworks uh Santa sampler um it is really cute I um this is how much I have done with it I am not using the called for colors I am using 
Um, the red is like a little bit, sorry, I'm gonna grab my colors. The red I'm using um, 816. It's like a deep, deeper, darker red. Um, not as um, red as that Christmas, as the December cottage that I'm working on. I really just like the deeper deepness of this red. It looks really cute. Um, and again, fabric smells so good. <laughs> Um, what I am gonna, I'm gonna change this pattern. So what I am gonna do is I'm not a big fan of the the cookies, and I want it to be like a little shorter. I don't want it to be as tall and rectangular. I want it to be more of a square. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna cut out, cut out this, and then just move this Merry Christmas up to meet the stockings. Um, and that's kind of my plan for how to how to finish that. Um. And then another whip that I have that I didn't show you last week is the Frosted Pumpkin Stitcheries um, Into the Jungle Stitch Along. Um, as you can see, I'm really behind on this. So I ordered this in March when it first came, well, not when it first came out because it came out in January, but, and I, because I saw people working on the sloth and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I absolutely need it. Um, and then the toucans came out and they were okay, you know, and then the frog and then the tiger and I really like the tiger and then the alligator it was okay. Um, and then <laughs> they just had like, I don't like birds very much. They're just not really my thing. Um, and they just kept coming out with birds and birds and birds. And I was like, I don't want to stitch it anymore. Um, but their new one is a tapir and I'm really excited about it. Um, so I might get this back out. I haven't decided yet. I kind of tried to pawn it off on my sister and she didn't want it because she doesn't cross stitch. She embroiders. Um, so I'm going to keep plugging away at it and we'll see. I don't know. I'm just, my co I don't like my color of fabric I chose and... There's just a lot of things I'm not super happy with about it, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll get some energy and I'll, I'll get her done. Ugh, did I just say that? I'm sorry. Um, now I did finish something this week. Um, it's not fully finished, but I did, I did get it done and I showed you last week. And so this is my Satsuma Street Otonio Square. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, remember last week I told you this originally comes in nine squares and I just cut it down to the four squares. Um, this is gorgeous. It just super pops on the white fabric. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet because I want to like, I want to do another four squares and kind of partner them and see what exactly I want to do because they're going to be side by side hopefully. Um, but seriously, the colors on this. And I used all the call for colors. Usually on her patterns, I use all the call for colors because they just really complement each other. Um, and this pumpkin, oh my gosh, it's so cute. So when you look at the original pattern, there's a pattern that, there's a squirrel, and I just, I don't like the squirrel. So I'm gonna cut out the squirrel, and then I'm gonna put the other four boxes in a similar, like, orientation as this. Um, and then I'm gonna do the same with the summer and the spring one that I, I already own those. I just haven't... The spring one has a cat, and I don't like cats. And then the summer one, there's something that I wish was like, eh, it's okay. So I'm going to actually end up cutting those out, and I'm super excited about that. Because that gets me more motivated to actually do the pattern. Um, and then I am working on a project um, for my bathroom right now. And I was going to show it to you real quick. So I don't remember if I showed this, but this is a Satsuma Street pattern that I finished. It is the Cancer um, what's it called? The astrology thing? Anyway, I'm using it as a crab for my uh, nautical bathroom. So, um, I have this, and I used all the called for colors on it, um, and it's, it's actually stitched on blue, dark navy blue Ada 14 count. Um, what I'm going to do is I found this beautiful blue frame. Actually, it was but I found this beautiful blue frame at the Goodwill and I was going to do red backgrounds and stick it right here and then either do another stitching right here or do like an ornamental thing or do it this way. I haven't really decided yet. Um, but I also found this fabric. It is red and white chevron and I'm thinking about changing, oops, sorry, thinking about changing it to that. I haven't really decided. Um, and then I have another, so I have another frame like this that I'm going to do something opposite on. 
Um, so I started out working on the Satsuma Street Mermaid. Um, and I got pretty far. Sorry. And then I decided that I didn't want a really big piece. So I measured it and I can actually cut out just this mermaid. So this mermaid is going to go on a box or on a, like a six inch square. And it is going to be on another of the frames. Um, and then I'm trying to decide the fish up here are gorgeous. So I'm trying to decide if I want to just make a box, like a six inch square of the fish and maybe a six inch square of like the anchor. There's an anchor down here. I don't think I have it finished an anchor and the coral and then just put four different squares in the box in the frames i haven't decided i haven't fully thought that through yet but that's one of the um options that i have for this um and i'm super excited that i came up with that idea last week weekend and i just haven't haven't had time to get it done imagine that i haven't had time <laughs> um another finish that i have finished it's been finished for a couple weeks now but it's a gift um, but I worked really hard on it and I think I'm just going to show it to you. It is Cardinals. It's a stone. I'm pretty sure it's a Stony Creek um, cross pattern. It's old. Like it's one my mom had from the 80s. Um, but my mother-in-law loves Cardinals. And so I am making this for her for Christmas. I'm going to frame it in like a, hopefully... Something like this. And then it's going to have a gold frame that goes around it. Um, that's kind of my plan for framing it. It's just like, it took me forever to finish this. And I was so excited when I finished. But seriously, like, it took me a long time. Um, and hopefully she loves it because I really like it. I think it's really cute. It turned out nice. Um, and then I have two previous finishes that I was going to share with you while I'm here. And then I have, um, new patterns that I've purchased that I'm excited to share with you. So one of my new, um, or new, one of my previous finishes is it's in my kitchen. Oh gosh, that's, that's annoying. Sorry. It is a Satsuma Street. Um, it's their, uh, I think it's called Good Morning. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but, um, you can't see it very well on this. I'm sorry for the glare. Um, I stitched this on 28 count, the tea dyed Monaco, like the one that's already comes tea dyed. Um, it is gorgeous. <laughs> it fits in my kitchen really well. Um, I'm probably going to take it out of this frame eventually and do something different, um, to frame it or to kind of put it up because I would like to put it up above my cabinets, but this frame doesn't fit above my cabinets. Um, so this is one of the things that I finished. Um, and the second finish that I have brought to show you actually is not hung up right now. Um, it is this little sleeping boy and you can't really, sorry, all, all of my previous finishes are framed. So, um, they're kind of hard to see. <clears throat> so this came from this book that my mom had for as long as, I mean, I was alive. Um, probably from the 80s. Um, and I stitched this and I entered it into the county fair. Um, and it did well. It did really well. Um, it's stitched on oatmeal, Ada, 14 count. Um, and the cool thing about this is it's actually professionally framed by myself. So I used to work at a professional frame shop and, <clears throat> and I have a couple of pieces that I'll show you in the future that I have actually got professionally framed. Um, and this has like really fancy museum glass on it and, um, and yeah, so I got to pick the framing out for it and I got to actually frame it myself. Um, and so it turns out I always, I always like it when I have stuff that's professionally framed that I've done because I know how to do it and it just, it always makes me feel good. Makes me feel good. Um, so those are the two previous finishes that I was going to show you today. And you can kind of see one of my other previous finishes in the back, but I'll show you that another time. So I kind of went on a cross-stitch buying frenzy because I got paid. Not a good thing, but I got them all. I mean, I, you know, I shop around. I make sure I get good deals. Um, so like I was telling you, I bought the dog string. Um, what I would like to do is change this dog and this dog to our two dogs. So we have a black pug, 
Um, and then we have a um, miniature schnauzer. And so I would like to change those. And I have a whole, I've got two little places that I have it. So I have a wall with all pictures of our dogs. Like you would have pictures of your kids. I've got pictures of our dogs. Um, and then I have like a little um, table that kind of has like dog pictures and dog stuff on it. So I haven't decided where I'm going to put it when I finish it. But I'm super excited and it is so cute. Um, I also got along with my, um, so I bought that Santa sampler. Um, and that came in today and it came in with these patterns. So I bought like a, I bought a couple different patterns. Um, I bought the, oops, I guess you can't really see it very well. I bought the Marion Bright, um, from Country Cottage Needle Works. Um, this one, I'm not, I don't, I'm not in love with this green. And so I'm going to look at different greens, um, that they have. And I really like this, this bottom part is really pretty. So it looks like it could be like done into like two different groups. So I might do something like that. I haven't really decided, I haven't really looked into it yet. Um, I was really going to work on my Santa sampler and then maybe start this one. Um, so I have that one. Another one I got that I'm going to, um, so every, we have a Thanksgiving, we have, um, we draw, so my step family is really big, and so we draw people's names for who's going to get each other gifts, um, and I bought this pattern, because whoever doesn't get, like, I'm going to make sure I get this person as my person, <laughs> like, I will trade someone, because I came up with a perfect gift for her, so it's this, um, little, Country Cottage Needle Works, it's the um, fa, -la -la -la, fa la la ornament. Um, she she loves sheep, and so I'm, like, I'm so excited to uh, to make this one for her. Um, I also got this Angels um, ornament. Just a cute little quick stitch from Country Cottage Needle Works. Um, and then my other one I got really doesn't match Christmas at all. Um, it is, I am so excited about it. So I was binge watching some floss tube and I saw that Priscilla and Chelsea had, or Priscilla had made this pattern and I, I was working out while I was watching it and I literally stopped working out, got online and found the pattern and bought it because I loved it so much. So it is Easter Peep by Brenda Gervais with thy needle and thread. Um, it is so cute. So I have realized this week that my favorite holiday to stitch is Easter. Um, I don't know why it's my favorite holiday to stitch. I, we don't do anything fancy for spring, nothing. It's just, I really love all the spring patterns, the bunnies, the chickens. So I have, um, on order, I have, two more and I'll show it to you next week. So I got two more, or no, one more of the strings. I got two more Easter patterns coming. I have a Christmas pattern coming and I believe, and then I've got two more Christmas patterns coming. So that's what I have. Um, and I am super excited to start those and show you what I have getting done so my question for you if you want to leave your answer in the comments so that way we can just talk about it is what is your favorite holiday to stitch I love to stitch Easter for some unknown reason I don't know I just love to stitch it um my goal is to get all the little all the Lizzie Kate strings stitched um except for the kitty string because don't like cats um <laughs> so yeah so I I was looking at the Easter string and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to buy it. Why have I not bought this yet? Um, so yeah, go ahead and share with me what your favorite holiday to stitch is. And I would love to hear from you. I will see you guys next week. Thank you for tuning in.